Well, the kids wait all year mm -hmm. for this day. It's their yes. chance to get dressed up and collect some sweets, and you don't want anything getting in the way of that. A lot of us head out after dark, so it's important to be cautious. And the last thing you want is an illness or an injury. So ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here now with how to stay safe while keeping things spooky. Yeah, Candace, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is a study ranks Halloween among the top three holidays, producing the most trips to the ER for kids. But the good news, most of the Halloween-related incidents that land the kids in the hospital are preventable. So we're gonna talk about some steps you can take to help keep your trick-or-treaters safe. And the very first thing you should do is make sure your own house is in order. Clear your front porch of anything kids could trip over, keep the pets inside and keep it well lit, but try to do that while making it free of any fire hazards. So get those jack-o'-lanterns away from the porch. Next, be very careful while you're driving. It's getting darker earlier, so put those phones down and drive slowly through neighborhoods. If you're chauffeuring any trick-or-treaters, drop them off in safe spots where they can avoid traffic. Now, of course, if you are supervising tonight, you want to keep a close eye on the kids. And to help you do that, you can give them flashlights to carry in the dark or glow sticks if you're worried about being a bit more fashionable. Now, you may not have known this, but costumes can also play a major role in your child's safety. Experts say, ideally, they should be made of light-colored material, but if they're not, try adding some reflective tape. You also want to avoid flammable costumes and accessories and avoid big, baggy costumes. Experts say the worst thing is a mask that could restrict your child's vision. So go ahead and try face paint instead. Now, our next tip is to talk to your child ahead of time. Make a plan, prepare them for the big night. How are you gonna communicate with them if you're not the one who's chaperoning? If you're gonna set a curfew, just go ahead and make that clear now. And finally, this is one we hear every year. We get concerns about this. Once everyone is home, you'll wanna check your child's candy collection for potential tampering or other issues. Experts say that although tampering isn't common, you should still closely examine the sweets just to be safe. Toss anything that looks funny or if you see pinholes or tears in the wrapper. You should also stay clear of any unwrapped or homemade items unless you know the person who gave them personally and throw out anything that could be a choking hazard. Most importantly, don't forget to take your cut of the candy because by this time you have earned it. To see more tips to stay safe tonight and share them with fellow parents, you guys can head to clickorlando.com slash Halloween and have fun trick-or-treating tonight.